When you're making a film that is so weather dependent, whether it's bad weather or really bad instability in the snowpack or just terrain that is really on the edge of even doable, you need an unbelievably tight-knit crew to be able to pull that stuff off. Really, we have our core team, our core production crew, but we can't get done what, what we get done without the local operators and, and local people that we work with, whether it be mountain guides that know the area, helicopter pilots, you know, the, the owner operators of different lodges that we go and visit. Being a guide, we're able to like take people to what I call the church. And they quite often wind up coming back just like, you know, hype. That was awesome. That was super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that inspires yourself, but it, it's really unique to inspire people. To see them like at their at their best, they're like they're at a high level of enthusiasm. It's it's fantastic. We're a very unique entity to deal with. So if you haven't guided TGR, sometimes that can be really challenging. We have some pretty out there ideas and, and ways that we do things. There is absolutely no such thing as an average day in the field for us. It's obvious that the, the skiers are out there because they're skiing and, and there's the cinematographers filming everything, but there's definitely so many other people that, that go into making the films a reality. Part of my joy in TGR since the beginning has been going to these far out places and connecting and interacting with people, whether it's a lodge operator, or a local guide. They're the people that really add that layer uh, to a trip, that layer of personality and intimacy, and it's a real special camaraderie. You know, we're always working with different people, but this was a year that it really felt like so many people came together and gelled and, and were working together to really work towards this big grand vision, and I think, I think Winterland's gonna be a huge success. Woo! Woo!